Christina Milian just moved to Paris. That might sound exciting, but the truth might be sadder than that. Why is Christina making her daughter start middle school in a different country? Is Christina's relationship with her French husband in trouble? You won't believe why Christina left her home and career behind. Christina's daughter is named Violet. Recently, Christina posted a message and pictures of her and Violet on social media for her 7 million plus followers. Christina's message sounded upbeat, but was she telling the truth? She called Paris a new adventure, and she said that Violet was super stoked to be starting middle school in Paris. Christina also included a video of her and her daughter. I'm not throwing shade, but Violet doesn't exactly look super stoked in this video. It could be because starting middle school in a new country, in a different language, would be really tough for any kid, especially a girl who's Violet's age. But Christina said that Violet attended the opening day of school in France, and according to Christina, Violet already made new friends. It's crazy that Christina ended her post with, okay, let me stop before Violet cancels me. Is Violet just acting like a kid whose celebrity mom is embarrassing her in public, or is something sadder happening to Christina in her private life. Christina's previous relationships have been pretty shocking. In a crazy televised interview with E! News, she hinted that she dated some bad guys before. Girl, what are you doing with him? <laughs> Was Christina talking about her current husband, Matt Pecora? You won't believe the other bad guys that Christina has dated and how badly her relationship ended with one guy that everybody knows. Before Nick Cannon married Mariah Carey, he became a household name for allegedly dating Kim Kardashian. But before Nick was even seen with Kim, he actually did Christina for two years. Christina ended it with Nick for a shocking reason, but when Nick gave his side of the story for why Christina dumped him, it sounded more like he was throwing shade. Christina has enjoyed a successful singing and acting career, including starring in roles in popular holiday movies, but apparently that wasn't a turn on for Nick. He said their relationship became too much like a Christmas romance, and for that crazy reason, Nick confessed that he couldn't stay faithful to Christina. In other words, Nick actually confirmed once that he cheated on Christina, and you won't believe the shocking way that Christina discovered the real truth about Nick. She alleges that Nick was living in her house. Christina called it unreal that Nick was cheating on her for weeks while he was under her roof. Maybe she can joke about it now, but when Christina brings up the subject in interviews, you can tell that it blew her away when it happened. But somehow Christina managed to keep it together. She knew that she needed to be absolutely sure about Nick's cheating because Christina had every intention to confront Nick about his selfish cheating ways. She made a shocking decision. She figured she could try to hack into Nick's phone. Years later, during the E! News interview, Christina seemed to be throwing shade at Nick right back. When I was dating Nick Cannon, I like the password somehow worked on the, on the first check and I was right. And then next thing you know, I was reading for like a month, I was reading messages. She found messages from Nick's phone that he was sending and receiving from other women. Shockingly, it became almost like an obsession for Christina to find these messages. She said that she built up intel for weeks. But there's another shocking reason why Christina couldn't bust Nick right away. She had to leave home to film a movie in Romania, so she had to wait to confront Nick because she wanted to bust him in person. But if you're imagining a dramatic and angry scene between Christina and Nick, I got a little sad too because Christina admitted something shocking in her E! News interview. Kind of like my first love at that yeah. time. Unfortunately, Christina's first marriage didn't last long either. Her first husband was Grammy-winning songwriter and record producer The Dream. He's famous for co-writing and producing Beyonce's hit track, Single Ladies. Shockingly, Christina's marriage to The Dream ended after just 10 months. Their daughter Violet was just five months old, but before Christina's divorce even got announced, shocking photos were captured by the paparazzi of The Dream on a Caribbean vacation, and he wasn't alone. An unidentified brunette was wearing a bikini in the pictures, this woman's arms were wrapped around Christina's husband. Shockingly, the dream had his hands planted on the brunette's assets. Christina addressed the scandalous photo on her social media. You won't believe what she wrote. All she said to her fans and followers about her soon-to-be ex-husband was, whatever you think, believe it. With a love like that, Christina wasn't rushing to meet anyone new. She met her current husband, Matt, in August 2017, and where they met might surprise you. Christina revealed that she was at a restaurant in France. Matt was there too, but Christina wasn't interested in talking to him at first. Shockingly, the manager of the restaurant told Christina that she 
she would get along with Matt. Since he's a musician like she is, Matt is super popular in France. He's released many hit albums and he's also been a coach on the French version of The Voice. But none of that interested Christina at first either and she admitted that she only changed her mind because she caught a glimpse of Matt that night. Christina was blown away again but in a good way this time because she thought that Matt was good looking and a few other things about Matt blew her away that night. After they exchanged phone numbers, Christina and Matt discovered that they share the same birthday and Matt did something else crazy the night he met Christina. How would you feel if a guy you just met said this to you? Apparently, Matt told Christina that he had a gut feeling that they would have a child together. And when Christina told Matt she already had a daughter, Matt shockingly said, well, you don't have a son. Christina said that Matt was always interested in being a stepfather to Violet. He even moved to LA in 2018 to be closer to Christina and Violet. It would seem like the right place to be for two popular entertainers like Christina and Matt. So why did they move all the way back to France? Shockingly, Matt confessed to the French media that that he had to help Christina and Violet with learning French, and at least one media outlet called the transition difficult. Christina and Matt also have two other kids to worry about now. They have two sons together under the age of four. Christina's first son with Matt is named Isaiah. He was born at the beginning of 2020, and at the gender reveal party, inside sources said that Matt was overjoyed to be having a son. Remember the shocking thing he said to Christina the first night they met? Not only did Christina have one boy, as Matt predicted, but she also had another boy named Kenna in a April 2021. Christina and Matt got married after their first son's birth, so they are moving back to France because the marriage is in trouble. It's not like they haven't vacationed in France as a family before. Christina has posted plenty of messages about holidays in France on social media, including setting pictures of a beach day with Violet in Saint-Tropez. She always looks happy with Matt, and Christina has even celebrated Matt on social media. After his first child, Isaiah, was born, Christina posted an unbelievable message. She wrote that she's never seen a man look forward to changing every sleepy diaper like Matt does. Christina called it the best feeling, and she seems very happy in her personal life with Matt. Whatever that might be, shockingly, inside sources claim to know why Matt wanted Christina and their kids to move back with him to France. These sources claim that Matt said France has more culture than America, and he wants all of his kids, including Violet, to receive a great French education. So maybe Violet loves school in France after all, and the best clue of all might come from Christina. She starred in a short reality series called Really Truly Maybe. Christina talked about acting and the business she owns, but she obviously knew what people wanted to hear about the most. So Christina revealed all the shocking details about Matt and living in France. Christina even brought up her ex-boyfriends and ex-husband. You won't believe how she compared those guys to Matt. Christina said that being with Matt was like apples to oranges. If that sounds crazy, Christina explained exactly what she meant. She said that she and Matt have a completely different relationship. It's built on respect and mutual support. Christina said they are so special together and both of them can be who they truly are. That sounds like they are happy and I hope France is as great as Christina says it is. But what do you guys think? What do you think about Christina's marriage to Matt? Do you think it's hard for Violet to be in a school in France or is it a great thing for her education like Matt says? Let me know in the comments below.